Hey, greetings, everyone. Glenn Kellaway from the book basement. It is Tuesday morning. A um, couple things. First, my last video was a ranking of the Beatles album covers. Now, I did that basically because I just was drawing a blank and I wanted to put a, some content out there. Um, I wasn't emotionally involved in it that much. And... Um, it drew, uh, for my uh, regular uh, amount of viewers, uh, usually somewhere between 300 to 500 and up. Uh, typically, if I don't get 300 views, it's uh, because I did something that no one really gives a crap about. Uh, but I'll tell you, the Beatles video was beat out by my 10 favorite banjo player video. <laughs> <laughs> so that tells me something. There's a lot of people out there who don't give a crap about Beatles content, and I agree with you. I'm I'm past it. So you're not going to get any more Beatles. This is a Beatle-free zone from now on. How's that? Okay. So I picked up a couple of albums uh, later on on Record Store Day that I never showed, and a CD just came in the mail that I'm really excited about. You guys know I am totally pumped listening to Burt Yanch reading about the history of all the British folk artists from the 60s. I mean, this is a whole another universe that was going on at exactly the same time Beatlemania and the British stuff was all happening. I mean, it's insane that, that all these great players are playing this music at the same time and totally uh, separated. It's, it's unbelievable, but very influential, especially people like Jimmy Page, Robert Plant, um, one of the guys who was a big, big, uh, great guitar player and very inspirational to Burt Yanch and a bunch of others is a guy named Davy Graham. This album was hard to find. Folk Blues and Beyond. It's a really good album. You can check it out on Spotify if you like acoustic blues. It's really good. He does some great tracks on here. Uh, Leaving Blues, Cocaine, um... Rock Me Baby, uh, Moanin, uh, Ain't Nobody's Business What I Do, uh, Can't Keep From Crying Sometimes, that um, 10 Years After did a great version of. Don't Think Twice It's All Right, My Babe, another song that 10 Years After covered. Going Down Slow, Better Get In Your Soul, which is a uh, Charles Mingus song. Um very cool. There's bonus tracks on this. A uh, song called She Moved Through the Fair, which I'm going to talk about in a second. And uh, the, s the instrumental he wrote, which I'm also going to talk about in a second, called Angie. So, uh, Davy Graham, freaking awesome. I'm dying to hear this. I, I listened to it on Spotify when I was uh, discovering him. And, man, I'm blown away. He is amazing. And I'm real excited to get this. So, Davy Graham... Uh, kind of around 1959, I mean, he was doing this stuff. Um, and uh, very influential uh, acoustic guitar player. Most famous for the instrumental Angie, um, which Burt Yanch picked up on it, kind of did his own version of it, and that kind of became his signature piece, too, uh, as an instrumental. Um, he has a song, which is on here, it's a bonus track, called She Moved Through the Fair. Now that song uh, was an inspiration, big inspiration to Jimmy Page. Jimmy Page's, the Yardbirds song, White Summer, which is on the Yardbirds' last album, Little Games. There's a song called White Summer. Jimmy Page based his solo on She Moved Through the Fair. Also, Jimmy Page, it was a big inspiration to him, the guitar work he did on one of my favorite Zeppelin songs, Over the Hills and Far Away. So if you think this, this music is just, oh, I don't like folk music, and you know, I, I like my Zeppelin, I mean, this is where they got this stuff from. So d check it out. Um, my earpiece fell out on that side, as long as the other side doesn't fall out, because that's where the mic is. So uh, let's get that back in there. Anyway, Davy Graham, please check him out amazing. I'm sure my friends Big Sky and Roy Goad are going to have something to say about this. Okay, next. 
I went to Record Store Day. You know, I picked up uh, my Grail, John Hartford. I'm absolutely loving it. The second disc of the of the uh, added bonus tracks and uh, outtakes and everything's really cool. I, I love it. it, and it sounds really good. It's got a whole different sound to the original album. The original album's very flat. This is a lot more. John's voice is a lot more up front. It's kind of a bit trebly, I think I'm going to call it. And uh, but you can really hear all the instruments clearly and everything. It's just I'm I'm loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. But um, I got home, and uh, I'm sitting here and I can't rest. I'm going. Uh, I'm going to drive over to Belleville, Ontario, which is 15 minutes away, to the mall and see what the mall stores are doing for Record Store Day. There's Sam the Record Man and Sunrise Records. First, let me say, Sunrise Records had a pretty nice mall store in Belleville. It was big. It had pretty good inventory. And they closed down about three months ago to relocate in the mall. And I've been waiting for them to reopen. And they reopened and I went in there. Now they got this small little boutique store. The CDs are all jammed up so it's like they're all under ABC. You gotta go through like they're not like there's not a big inventory anymore that's sitting up top that you can go through. Uh, the vinyl up front is all now just the top 40 pop stuff. I mean, it's Taylor Swift and all that, which is great. I mean, that sells and people are buying it. I'm not putting that down, but it's not for my taste. So I immediately walked out of that store never to go back again. So if anybody from Sunrise Records is watching this in Belleville, Ontario, you lost a customer. Sam the Record Man and is stayed the same. It's it's cool enough. They, um, and, and the also thing about Sunrise, I asked, where are your uh, record date, store day releases? Oh, up front. And I'm going, well, I don't see them. She's going just up in the corner. I'm going, I don't see them. She calls me over. They had three records, three. One of them was a picture disc of something. And I don't even what the other two were. Three records. I said, you have no records for record store day. Yeah, that's all they sent us. You didn't even participate. Um, I don't know why they decided to ruin this store, but... Um, anyway, Sam's had a good selection of Record Store Day stuff, but uh, I didn't buy any. But they did have a whole pile of clearance records with a price tag on them, regular price, and then a sticker on it saying $10 off, $5 off, whatever. And then they told me, uh, whatever I grab, I get another 5% off for Record Store Day. So I grabbed a couple things. Um, first of all, uh, bluegrass related the earls of leicester now when i first heard this i'm stupid i was calling this the earls of leicester or something like that and someone corrected me and said no that's leicester flat like the earls of leicester they're like a tribute band they are they do this is live at the cma theater um it says an incredible 23 song set containing well over an hour of music featuring 14 songs never before recorded by the earls Two LP gatefold package plus two special bonus tracks included on a free, th a free MP3 download card. Now, um, these guys are amazing. <laughs> if you like Flat and Scruggs, you will freaking love this. They do Flat and Scruggs to a T. And uh, the guy, the the guy who does the vocals and talks even sounds like Lester. Um, Let's uh, give a shout out to the guys. So they do like Salty Dog Blues, Will You Be Lonesome 2, Earl's Breakdown, Long Journey Home, um, I'm Gonna Sleep With One Eye Open, uh, Rolling In My Sweet Baby's Arms, and The Church Rolls On, um, Black Eyed Susie. They just do some real classics on here. It's fantastic. The Earls of Leicester are the great Jerry Douglas on Dobro, Barry Bales from uh, um, Allison Krause and Union Station on, on bass. Sean Camp, lead vocals and guitar. Charlie Cushman on banjo. The guy, he's an awesome banjo player. If you're familiar with an album uh, Tim O'Brien did called Red on Blonde, which was a tribute to Bob Dylan, um, there's a track on there, Senior, from uh, Dylan's um, Street Legal album. Uh, they do a freaking great job of that song, and there's a banjo solo in that that I just freaking love. One of my best favorite banjo solos of all time. But Charlie Cushman did that, and he's amazing. Uh, Johnny Warren on fiddles, Jeff White mandolin. Um, really, really, I'm really happy with this album. It was uh, like 
thir- I think it was thirty nine ninety nine for double album, and then I had five. I think I got it for like twenty nine bucks or something like that, which is pretty good for a double album. I'm happy. Uh, of course, everybody likes to see the vinyl, so I ran out of inner sleeves, so I'm stuck with the paper sleeves for now. There's the uh, label. And last but not least, Steve Earle has, over the past few years, done a lot of tribute albums. He did one for Towns Van Zant, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, he did one for his son. Um, and uh, he did one for the great Guy Clark. Now, I saw it sitting there, and again, I got it for, like, double album for, like, 30 bucks. And um, this is uh, called Texas. And it's a tribute to Guy Clark, doing uh, Steve Earle doing all Guy Clark songs. And um, I didn't think I had this on CD, so I thought, oh, this is great. I can just add a, a new album to my collection. It turns out I do have it on CD. So, uh, But anyway, that doesn't matter because I'm real excited to have the vinyl. There's Steve. They do... Uh, L.A. Freeway, which is uh, one of my favorite Guy Clark songs. Desperado is Waiting for a Train. It's a great song. Uh, the Randall Knife. Uh, Heartbroke is a great track. Um, Old Friends. Uh, terrific album from Steve Earle. It's fantastic. These albums always sound good, too. Uh, there's the... Uh, thing. So, there we go. Anyway... I promise you, this is a Beatle-free zone. Don't come here looking for Beatles stuff. I'm done with it. I'm not doing it anymore. That's it. That's all I got. It's my promise to you. And uh, in return, please give me a thumb up or down. If you if you like the Beatle content, give me a thumbs down. <laughs> um, I'm sure if something really major happens, you know, Ringo uh, breaks a nail or something, I'll talk about it. But other than that, no. Okay, have a great day.